But as I was saying, I was pr trying to pray the Lord's Prayer, and the Lord's Prayer just would not come out my mouth all the way. But all of a sudden, I felt comfort. I felt better. So I wake up in the morning. Let me tell you something about the armor of God. So I wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm talking to my wife, and she was like, I felt you was on a spiritual attack last night. <laughs> and she said, I put my hands on you, and I prayed for you. Woo! God is good, ain't he? I couldn't get the prayer out of my mouth, but God said it on my wife's mind to pray for me. Touch not my anointing. When I can't sleep, God sustained me through my wife. Do you understand? It's good to have a power couple in the Lord. Do you understand? When I'm weak, he is strong. My wife couldn't sleep last night. She couldn't sleep last night because she was busy praying for me. Do you understand? Touch not my anointed. You see how all things work together for those who believe? I couldn't pray in my sleep. But my wife could. I love you, Michelle. Good God-fearing woman. Do you understand, people? All things work together. The Satan desires to sift you like wheat, Peter. But don't worry about it. I have prayed for you. And when you are converted, strengthen the brethren. You understand? Strengthen the brethren. Pray for other people. Comfort other people. Bestow people with spiritual gifts. Give the Holy Ghost. But Satan's after you, Peter. Satan's after you, man of God. Satan's after you, woman of God. So you better learn how to pray. You better learn how to keep your armor on like Job. You better seek God like David in the Psalms. What are you afraid of? No need to fear. He said, do not fear man that can destroy the body, but fear that which can destroy the body and the soul in hell. Who's going to be destroyed in hell? Satan. If you choose to follow Satan, you're going to be destroyed in hell too. If you choose to be the kids of Satan spawn, you're going to be destroyed too. No evil is of God. Do you understand? Do you understand me? You see, I've been I've been attacked with wind from above because Satan desires my life. I've been burnt with flames because Satan desires my life. I have the bruises to show you where I've been on fire. I've been attacked by witches and warlocks in the name of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for revealing to me the powers of darkness so I can know what to pray for, so I can know what to pray at. Do you understand me? I have no fear. God talk, took me through so many storms and battles and roller coaster rides in my life. <coughs> and yet I sin not with my mouth against my father. I pray to him. And I pray for my enemies too. Because my desire is not for anyone to be lost. It's for people to be found. But I know that some people are just not going to hear God's voice. Just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees couldn't hear Jesus' voice. Because they was under the sway of the evil one. But as you can see, Job's friends, they heard God's voice. Because God told them, hey, go go to Job and have him pray for you. And once he pray for you, you might want to bless this man. You might want to give him some increase instead of ridiculing him all the way down, beating him down in the ground, instead of trying to talk trash about him. How about you lift him up? You finna do it anyway. I'm going to let you say what you want to say about Job. But then I'm going to make you lift him up. I'm going to make you his footstool. And I'm going to bless Job through your hands. Do you understand me? Vengeance belong to the Lord. Touch not my anointed. But the anointed can be touched. But as long as the anointed stays strong in faith and stays strong in Christ, you got to make it through it. 
people think I do this because uh, I just want to be seen. No, because I done seen the dark. I wrote a song, God showed me the dark to lead me to the light. I done wrestled with demons. Jacob wrestled with the angels all night long. And then wouldn't let go until he blessed them. I wrestle with demons constantly. The devil is on my tail constantly. In the form of friends, in the form of family members, in the form of enemies. And in the form of spiritual warfare and the night watches. But I fear not. I'm glad I got a God has blessed me with a God fearing woman that knows how to pray. You understand? And God has blessed her with a God-fearing man that knows how to pray. You see, when I'm at work, I can't, I can't pray all the time. But you know what? My wife, God says it on my wife's mind. Hey, pray for Houston. Ha <laughs> ha. My armor stays strong. Even when I'm weak, even when I'm not opening my mouth to pray, I have somebody interceding for me. Because God works through her. Just like he said, oh hey. Paul said, put it in time, hey, pray for me. Told the disciples, told his, the children to pray for him. Told other people to pray for him. People, have a blessed day in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day in the name of God. Have a blessed day. You understand? Keep your armor on. Like I said, you better step into your anointing. You have to realize what you are fighting against. We fight not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual weakness in high places. We fight against the spiritual realm. Know your enemy. I always tell people this right here. How can you have God answer your prayers if you don't even know what to pray for? If you don't know what to pray at? If you don't believe your enemy exists, how can you pray at an enemy that you don't believe in? Have a blessed day.